Greetings everyone. This is an earthquake watch for February 28 through March 3. It's been fairly quiet in the solar corona, very little data pointing out to a likelihood of a large earthquake. However there are some significant coronal holes heading our way and I do believe there is a potential of one or two 7 plus earthquakes during this watch period. Looking at Solon.info we get to see a significant coronal hole that's turned a limb and it will be earth facing during this watch. I do feel that there is a strong possibility of a large earthquake in and around these regions. Now it is a fairly wide coronal hole and also in latitude and longitude so again this is going to be fairly difficult to predict a likely area. The most likely areas will be in and around these sunspot regions so this will probably be the target zone. Well, I do feel that there is a similarity with India with this coronal hole. I don't feel that there will be a likelihood of an earthquake in that region. I do feel that this would more than likely be the area of Philippines. Okay, I'm looking at a split screen between Solon.info and Solar Monitor and the main reason is to actually narrow down this very large coronal hole and look at specific regions and I have found three separate areas that will be in play I feel during this watch. Day 1 and 2 would be February 28 and March 1. I do see north 8 to 11 degrees to be the most likely area in play. Okay we're looking at a substantial filament eruption on the northern hemisphere of the solar corona. This is with the SDO 304 angstrom. We get to see a significant eruption occur in this region and the subsequent after effects. But not only did we get an after effect but we also seen a almost like a chain reaction and all filaments that was associated ejected from the solar corona and it's fairly faint but you can still make it out. Now the, the most important aspect of this is the actual after effects and we do get to see a very small but fairly well defined solar tsunami and we did get a similar sort of reaction prior to the Christchurch um, earthquake a few days prior. I'm going to be targeting some areas now with Google Earth and as mentioned the area of Philippines seems to be the most at risk um, that's my interpretation of what we're looking at on the solar corona as mapped to Earth. The first area that I feel that may be receiving some form of earthquake, perhaps 6.2 to 6.5 in magnitude, will be Mindanao, Philippines. Now this could be the actual uh, beginning of a series of earthquakes in and around this plate line and fault line. I do feel that Mindanao, Philippines would be the February 28 to March 1 time frame. My next area of concern would be Panama, Colombia and also Costa Rica. I do feel there is a smaller potential but it does fit in this same latitude and risk zone. I do feel there will be an earthquake February 28 to March 1st in one of these regions, more than likely Philippines. Now I'm going to be targeting a second area and this will be the most concerning or the most dangerous for this watch and there is a potential of a 7 plus earthquake. I'm going to target these regions now. The main area of concern for this earthquake watch is this second coronal hole that's in behind the sunspot region 11163. Now this is the culprit of the 3.5 N-class flare that was ejected a few days ago on the solar corona and there is a fairly substantial coronal hole here and it is situated at about 16 to 19 degrees north latitude. The top part of Philippines seems to be an area that may be affected by a large earthquake. I do feel a very deep earthquake may be headed our way and the most likely area would be Luzon, Philippines or the Philippine Islands. I do feel that there is a potential, fairly high potential of an earthquake in this region. Now the only concern with a deep earthquake is a potential shallow quake follow up so we need to keep a close eye on this but this will be my number one area of concern and that's Luzon, Philippines. My second area of concern for the Northern Hemisphere would be around the Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic regions. We have received a fair amount of smallish quakes over the last few days which could indicate a foreshock of perhaps a larger event. My last area of concern will be India and this is a coronal hole that's 14 to 19 degrees north latitude. Now the coronal hole that we're looking at in the solar corona looks fairly similar to what we're looking at the entire continent of India so again I'm not really sure if this is going to correlate with an earthquake in this region. It does look quite dangerous, um, the actual size and shape, and it does look fairly similar to what we're looking at. But I do feel that there is a potential of an earthquake. Maharashtra in India may be the most likely area that may be affected if an earthquake were to occur in this region. I do feel that there is a small potential that we may get an event in India, and it will be in this region, I feel. 
um, there is a significant amount of celestial influence that could actually bring the top portions in play. And this is perhaps the most dangerous, so it doesn't appear that the coronal hole will take it up this high, but it's worth keeping an eye on that there are some celestial influences in and around the back portions or the western flank of this fault line. Looking at the southern hemisphere, and there is a little watch concerning the area 32 to 34 degrees south latitude. And I feel that we may get an earthquake in this region. I do feel that the southern hemisphere is slightly more susceptible due to the uh, celestial influences which will be affecting the southern hemisphere more than the northern for the next few months. But I do feel that there is a strong likelihood of a 6.5 earthquake in and around these regions. The main area in play for this potential earthquake in the southern hemisphere would be in Chile. The second area would be the North Island in New Zealand towards the Comatic Islands. There's also a potential that we get something in this region. My final area of concern for the Southern Hemisphere would be Newcastle, Australia. I do feel that there is a very small potential, but a probability that this area may be affected. There is a fairly good symmetry and also some celestial influence that could indicate that Newcastle, Australia may be affected. Okay, that's my earthquake watch for February 28th through March 3. Annotations will be added as events occur and also at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.